Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on creating a QQ plot in Microsoft Excel. As always, if you find this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in this Excel worksheet fictitious data that I'll be using for this example. And I'm going to be creating a QQ plot or quantile quantile plot. A QQ plot is used to compare a set of scores to a specified distribution. And the QQ plot I'll be creating in this video will be comparing a set of scores to a normal distribution. So this would be a type of normal probability plot. We often use a QQ plot when we're testing the assumptions for statistics like ANOVA or a t-test. We use it when we want to determine if a variable is normally distributed. So let's take a look at the variables I have up here so far. I have a variable that's normally distributed, column B, one with a positive skew, these scores have a positive skew, and then in column D we have scores here that have a negative skew. And over to the left I simply have 1 through 100. I have 100 scores for each of these variables. So in that column A, it's just 1 through 100. And then I have these three variables, and then I have a variable for probability and a variable for z-score. So I'm going to be creating functions to produce the probability and the z-score. It's important to note here that we don't need the variables to create the probability and the z-score. We just need the, in this case, 1 through 100, column A. It's also important to note here that the scores in these three variables are ranked from lowest to highest. So if you're working with data where the scores are not ranked from lowest to highest, you just select the column, as I've done here, column B, move over in the Home tab of the ribbon all the way to the right, Sort and Filter, and you want to move from smallest to largest. So I'm now going to calculate the value for probability. I'm going to calculate it for the cell E2 and then just autofill it down for the other cells. So this function will start with equal sign and it's going to be A2, which is just the number 1, minus the value 0.5. I'm going to put this expression in parentheses. Then I'm going to divide this expression by the number of observations. In this case it's 100, but I'm going to use the count function. That way if values are added it will adjust. Keep in mind though if values are added to this normal variable here, additional integers have to be placed in column A. For example 101, 102, and so on. So this will be divided by and then count and then the column B. So this gives us the probability for this first value, for 1. I'm going to autofill this all the way down to the last value. Next I'm going to calculate the z-score for each of these probabilities here in the probability variable. And I'm going to do that using the norm.s.inverse function. So this will be equal sign norm.s.inverse inverse returns the inverse of the standard normal cumulative distribution. Now when you pull this function up you'll notice it just has one argument and that's probability so I'm going to select cell E2 and there I have the z-score for this probability. So again these two variables probability and z-score don't have anything to do with any of the variables I'm going to be plotting on the QQ plot just this column A. So I'm going to autofill this down. And I have all the z-scores that I'll need for the QQ plot. So before I create the QQ plot, I'm going to just take a quick look at the different distributions I have here. The normal, the one with the positive skew, and the one with the negative skew. I'm going to do that by going to insert, and over on charts, I'm going to insert statistic chart, and select histogram. So this is the histogram 
for this normal distribution and it does appear to be normal from the histogram looking at it. I'm going to move this over to positive skew. You can see the positive skew for this variable and then select negative skew. This variable does appear to have a negative skew. So that's what we have for histograms for these three variables. Now to build the QQ plot, I go back up to insert on the ribbon, over to charts, and I want insert scatter chart. And here I have the just the default variables that are loaded in by Excel. It selects all the variables on this worksheet. Right click here, I'm going to select data. I'm going to remove those selections and then click add. For series X values, I'm going to select all of the z-score values. For series Y values, I'm going to select all of the values in the distribution that I want to test. So first that'll be the normal distribution in column B. And I'm going to click OK, and then OK again. I'm going to change this background to black to make it a little easier to see. And I'm also going to try to make it close to a square. So we can see here on the x-axis here I have the z-scores and the y-axis I have the observations from column B, the normal variable. And we use this QQ plot in this example to determine if these scores are in fact normally distributed. So we think of a line that runs diagonally here and we look at these points and we ask ourselves is there any systematic deviation from that line? Are these points on that line or mostly on that line or is there some sort of systematic deviation? In this case the points appear to be mostly along where that line would be. We would consider this QQ plot to be consistent with a variable that is normally distributed. Now I'm going to use this same chart to test the positively skewed variable and the negatively skewed variable. So I'm going to right click, select data. On the bottom left here in legend entries, I'm going to click edit and I only want to modify the series Y values. I don't need to change the series X values in this case because all three variables have the same number of observations. They're all at 100. If you had a different number of observations for the variables, you'd have to edit the x-axis here as well. So now just the y-axis. So I'll delete the reference from that text box. And I'm going to select the 100 scores in the positive skew variable. Click OK. And then click OK again. Move up to the chart. And we can see this is a QQ plot for this column C, this positive skew variable. And if we again consider that line moving diagonally, we can see the points mostly follow it. However, as we get to the top right, the points start deviating quite a bit from where that line would be. So we would look at this QQ plot and say this variable is positively skewed. It is not normally distributed. And the same thing for negative skew. Right click, select data, edit, delete the reference out of the text box for series Y values, and select all the scores in this negative skew variable. These observations that are negatively skewed. Click OK, click OK again, and move up to the chart. And again, we consider where that diagonal line would be. The scores in the bottom left appear to deviate quite a bit from where that line would be, although the other scores don't appear to. So we would say this is negatively skewed. Again, not normally distributed. 
I hope you found this video on creating a QQ plot in Excel to be useful. Thanks for watching.